uh, that we, I mean, not necessarily life extension related, but uh, something that we should be keeping our eye out uh, in the world of uh, current TV or Max and Jason. Anything uh, uh, that you wanted to promote? Uh, your well, website we are, at all? We are, we are, Sure. Um, well, the show is still airing, still up. It airs uh, weeknights at 9 p.m. Pacific, midnight Eastern on Current TV. And uh, we're also in development uh, on a sort of 2.0 version of the show that's looking to be much more experiential and out into the world instead of just in the studio. Um, so look out for that uh, late spring or summer, hopefully. We'll see. Oh, excellent. Yeah, and uh, we've been talking about life extension here. Uh, and one of my... Uh, uh, favorite questions to ask some of the guests out there that we have, uh, which sometimes brings up some surprising answers, is what do you do personally to help uh, extend your life? Do you have any type of uh, exercise program, diet uh, type uh, program that you follow, uh, any uh, type of thing that you that try to do to extend your life? Uh, um, well, I certainly am a fan of good nutrition, a lot of brown rice, a lot of omega-3s, Flaxseed, I do take resveratrol. I think it's a pretty good one to take too. And uh, sure. and I think that you know, being being uh, you know not being overweight is very important. And uh, you know, if Aubrey's running within 15 years, we'll add a year of life expectancy for every year we live. You really just got to worry about the next 15 and making sure that you're healthy uh, for those 15 more years. So. Well, and for those uh, next 15 years or so, or however long it takes, I wish you good health. And I wish you good luck you. in your uh, filmmaking efforts and uh, at Current TV as well. And I want to thank you very much for coming on the show tonight. Thank you, Justin. My pleasure. Thank we'll, you for having me. Hopefully we'll be speaking with you again in the future, and I bid you a good evening. All right. All right. There you have it. Jason Silva of Current TV. Yes. And wonderful interview there. Always nice to get a little insider view of what's going on in Hollywood. Yeah, that's right. And he I'm, I'm, was very excited to hear that uh, he said that there seems to be a pretty receptive audience in the media culture. You know, current TV and around L.A. and the, the stars and the producers, they seem fairly receptive to this idea of technological advancement and uh, indefinite life extension uh, themes like that. So... Uh, perhaps uh, at the Institute, the VIP uh, outreach program, we should put a little more effort into that, perhaps. And nice to hear also about uh, the uh, easy, how easy it is to get uh, programming on current TV, anyone that uh, is a filmmaker and has a nice little script or a nice little documentary uh, just submitted to current TV, and hey, maybe you'll end up uh, kind of like Jason there and uh, become a regular at the pr uh, for that type of programming. Well, Interview's over. Thanks for asking questions on uh, tonight, and we're going to move on to the news now. I'm going to quick check the, check the chat box, though. Of course, you can continue to uh, the, you can continue to ask questions and discuss uh, things in the chat. But uh, I want to get on to some of the uh, other announcements. And one thing I mentioned earlier in the show is the 2010 Immortality Institute director elections. Yes, the elections go through midnight. Uh, Eastern Time, February 8th. That's the end of the day. February 8th, which is eight days from now, I guess. Right, yeah, not eight days from now. Uh, and this, uh, again, director elections at the Institute are for members. Members are shareholders of the Institute, and the Constitution is, has been created to give them the political power to vote in referenda such as the director elections. However, everyone can ask questions of the people who are running for the board of directors. If you just go to the In Mortality Institute forums, you'll find a director uh, a candidate section. And all of our, our uh, candidates this year, I'll just list them quickly here. We have Shannon Viff, Caliban. I'm just using our Immortality Institute uh, names here uh, that they take in the forums. Sh uh, Shannon Viff, Caliban, Jedi Master Lucia, uh, David Stiles, Model Cadet, uh, Sven... Uh, who is goes by the name S123, uh, RWAC, Cyberbrain, and Cerebral Cortex. So yeah, those are all the member names at Inman, uh the people who are running for director. So be sure to vote. Be sure to ask the, uh, the people some questions uh, that are running. And also, hey, maybe you're not a filmmaker, but you're a writer. Well, look at this. We have a creative writing contest at the Institute that has just been launched. You have two months to create a work of fiction. 
something related to life extension, human transformation, or immortality. Uh, nice little short story fiction. Maybe it could be maybe a poem if you if you're a poet. Uh, uh, give it a try. I already have gotten one entry, and this has only been up for a couple of days. It's only been out, announced for a couple of days, and I know several of you out there are working on uh, this. You can win some prizes. Uh, submit a, a little short story for the creative writing contest at the Immortality Institute. What else is going on? Well, we do have our Folding at Home team, of course. Many people are familiar with it. I'm not going to go through everything, but uh, we do have this folding team, the Longevity Meme, which is position number 71 in many thousands of teams throughout the world. We're in the top 100. Haven't been moving a whole lot recently, though, as far as uh, moving up the rankings, but uh, we did pick up a new folder just this past week, and you can go check out a lot of the discussions about the Longevity Meme Folding at Home team in the Immortality Institute forums. We have a forum that's called Longevity Meme Folding at Home. Uh, and you can talk with all the other folders and figure out how, uh, what the best way is to uh, get the most points out of your computer and can compete in Folding at Home. Of course, the Folding at Home initiative and many other things like the writing contest and a new one that we're going to announce this upcoming week or within a week or two, a charity cryonics fund Many of these got their start in the action forum. Take a look here at the graphic. We have an action sub forum at the Institute where you can submit your ideas or complaints or uh, whatever, uh, forum suggestions. Uh, but this is where all the project ideas go. And one that just came up this week, thank you, Sven, for bringing this up. Uh, he brought up an idea of another conference, a conference that would be more like the recently concluded Davos World Summit, but this would be um, a life extension World Summit, or an anti-aging uh, World Summit, or a uh, health and longevity World Summit, where we get all kinds of leaders and uh, other people together, uh, all kinds of different life extension organizations together to have a great, huge conference. Let me know what you think of that. Uh, Sven brought that idea up, and you can go check it out in the action form. Also, what do we have in the news this week? Well, Elias here uh, posted a nice little story. This is an interesting one about old mice and young mice. I don't know if you heard about this one, but uh, when the circulatory systems of the young mice and the old mice were connected and the young blood would circulate through the old mice, they would become rejuvenated some, with some parameters, uh, you know, some biomarkers, aging biomarkers, were reversed once they were exposed to the younger blood from the younger mice. Kind of interesting, isn't it? Well, this was actually not news to me because two years ago at the UABBA conference out in UCLA, it, where I also met Jason Silva, our, our guest from earlier this evening, uh, he was out at the UABBA conference in UCLA, uh, and they were talking about signaling factors within the blood. Uh, in youthful blood, the stem cells operate uh, in a more efficient manner. They do what they're supposed to do because there are all kinds of proteins and enzymes and hormones in young blood that provide the proper signals for repair and rejuvenation, but those signals fade away as an organism gets older. So. Uh, Back two years ago, there were several researchers talking about that at the conference that the Institute supported. So it wasn't big news to me, but this new Harvard study once again proved that uh, you can rejuvenate an old body by putting new young blood in it. Now, it's not just the blood, obviously, that does it. It's actually the signaling mechanisms within the blood that, like I mentioned, the enzymes, hormones, proteins, whatever, uh, different types of things that are in the blood. But that's a, that's a very interesting news item that came up this past week. And also another interesting discussion topic that I wanted to highlight here, uh, and that is how to argue with people who say that aging is not a disease. It's just natural. Get over with it. We're all going to age and die, and, and it's not a disease. And, you know, there's a couple of different ways to approach this. This is an interesting discussion, uh, and put in your two cents if... Uh, y if you have an idea here. Uh, but uh, this was a new, fairly new member uh, poster at the Immortality Institute and just happened to go to a different forum somewhere else out on the net and ran into someone who said, get over it. Aging is natural. Forget about it. It's not a disease. 